we were going to be able to do this without him this week. I was hoping, I forgot about him. I was hoping maybe he just blew it off. Maybe with lockdown, just days away, maybe he thought he had better things to concentrate on. But oh, we are not so lucky. Mr. Eric Bischoff joins us. And I guess uh, I'm actually happy he's here this week. We've got a couple things to ask him about. Sit back and enjoy the adoration, my friends. Uh, I'm almost humbled by the fact they do love you here. Uh, saddened by the possibilities. I mean, this may be your final broadcast with this year, given the fact you've now entered the cage match, the lethal lockdown this Sunday at lockdown. That is a fact, but uh, I don't think we have anything to worry about. I know working with me is the highlight of your life as well it should be given the miserable extent of your career. Yep. But uh, yeah, I'll be around for a long, long time. Well, I can tell you, I am um, I'm going right down the middle on this whole thing. I am really hoping that it's- What the hell is that? It's my format, I'm not. We've got a big ladies match. The knockouts are about coming, uh, to come out next here on the uh, program. All right, this was high. I love her. The Winter. following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's TNA Knockout Action. Introducing first, from parts unknown, Winter! She is like spooky sexy, sultry. I mean, I like, you know, she's from parts unknown, I like to get to know her parts unknown. You know what I mean? Well, uh, whatever the case that may be, awesome. she, uh, is awesome. she moves very elegantly. But Pat like you have to admit, though, Eric, there is a side of her that's just maybe, I guess, would you say creepy hot? No, spooky. It's spooky. Spooky's good. Creepy's bad. You like that? With well, the looks she good, spooky, bad, creepy. I like it. I like it. You're just some creepy stuff. I'm insane. Uh, wow, she is beautiful. No question about it. Takes your breath away, huh? Too bad she doesn't take your voice away. We'd all be better off. She is Winter, former Knockouts champion, set to do paddle this week on Explosion. Look at that. And her opponent from San Bernardino, California, Tara. Now see, she's... She's scary in a whole different way. She's scary in a rip your arms and legs out of their sockets kind of way if you didn't make her happy. A guy like you, you'd be toast with her. You're saying I wouldn't be able to make her happy? I'm saying she'd be tearing your arms and legs out of their sockets is what I'm saying. Could be uh, an interesting night, uh, no question about it. Here, about, uh, here we go, it's knockouts match. It's Tara. It is going to be a winter one-on-one. -on -one. Look at, she's flexible. Well, you have to You know, you have to be flexible to be an athlete. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she takes, like, yoga and Pilates and all that other stretchy stuff just to keep limber and, you know, be able to do things she does because she is one hell of an athlete. Make no mistake about it. She certainly is. And uh, Winter stepping foot into the ring in this matchup. We saw a very competitive matchup recently on Impact between six of the knockouts where we crowned a new number one contender. For Gail Kim. Now look at look at what I, I think she kind of likes. This is a different kind of. Oh, that was a great check. Different kind of competitiveness going on here. This girl is scary. I mean, how do you prepare for someone that you know you get in the ring and she looks at you like that and it just would unnerve you. I, I know it would me. Um, well, I think one thing, Eric, you need to remember when you talk about the knockouts and the different things they bring to the table as competitors. I think a, a different approach, like, look what she's doing right now. She's intimidating the young man. He's having a difficult time dealing with it. He just can't quite grasp it, if you know what I mean. And here comes Tara. Nice move, Tara. She's smart. She's fast. She's strong. She's an example of why the knockouts are so much fun to watch. Certainly now, back and forth action. Here's a, whoa, here's a pin by Tara. They're almost that getting winner. was quick. When it was, you know, she was spending so much time playing head games in there, trying to get control of the vibe in the ring. You know, the, the vibe in the ring, you wouldn't know what that means. But trying to get a hold of the energy and capture the essence of, of what this match is all about. She wanted to control the pace. Tara just got a hold of it, man. Yeah, she's like, she what? The camera, is it the cameraman she's kind of coming she's, after here? Or is no, that she's you? She's coming or after me. Is she looking at you? Yeah, she's looking at me. Look out, here comes Tara. 
put an end to that fast. And back into the ring now, and, and it's that seductress type of attitude seductress. she has. Ooh, Ooh, that there. had to hurt. That had to hurt. Harris is following up with some kicks. And certainly... Nice round kicks. Not a lot of speed on those round kicks. Nice boot to the side of the skull. That didn't sound very feminine, does it? That'll well, slow you down in a hurry, no question about it. Tara looking to get back on top of the knockouts division. It's certainly been there before. And this match will continue when we return. It is Winter versus Tara. It's knockouts action here on Explosion. Winter putting the boots to Tara. This match continues. She's on fire, isn't she? Wow, during that commercial break, we saw an onslaught of offense from Winter, who is just... You know, just methodical. I mean, you just look at the way she moves in the ring, calculating and devastating. At the same time, dropping that backbreaker on Tara. Here's a cover. One, two. She was out of position on that cover. She really did. She had too much weight over to one side. There's another cover. And if she would have laid that forearm across Tara's throat, Tara might not have been able to kick out quite as easily as she did. There's something that she's just, she's just like, it's hey, kind of nervous. Hey, Eric, I'm going to move away from you a little bit. This is kind of, you're kind of creeping me out a little bit. Oh, I mean, look at her. She's nuts. Going for the choke with a smile on her face. You know, it's one thing to get choked by somebody, but it's another thing to have somebody choking you out, choking out while they're smiling at you. That's just screwed up. I couldn't agree with you more. Goodness gracious. All right, here goes. Tara now sitting, uh, or Winter sitting down now across the back of Tara, draped across the middle rope. And she's just loving it. God only knows what she's telling her while that's happening. And now going back to Brian Stifler, the referee. And now looking to capitalize on this. And certainly with the competition, greatest women's division in the world, the knockouts. Put it all on the line every single week. And as we're going to see at lockdown, Gail Kim putting the knockouts championship on the line. Both these ladies would like to be in contention for that championship. Oh, look at that. Great move there. And, you know, you said it right. I don't agree with much of anything you have to say, but when you talk about the knockouts and the fact that they are, without a doubt, the best women in professional wrestling anywhere in the world, make no mistake about it. I agree with you there. And this is really getting to be kind of exciting. And athletic. It's going in for the leg scissors. It's really the athletic competition. That's right. That's what it's all about. It's the only thing I care about right now. As she pulls her hair, and look at that look in her eyes. You know, I know that the athletes in TNA have to get physicals a couple times whoa, a year. Whoa, 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 God almighty. I, I, did, she, did she just lick her in the ear? I don't know. Can we get a replay? Somebody, get me a replay. Uh, I want to see that again. For professional reasons only. This must be the. This might be the most DVR match in wrestling history. Uh, slow replay, everything. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, double hair pull, and now the both ladies go. Yeah, Tara used her weight there, her speed and momentum. Grabbed two hands full of full of hair and just went with it, and it definitely had a desire, had the desired effect. Tara's got to get some momentum going though. This match, even though it's been relatively even, I would say the edge has gone to. What the hell are you doing over there? What do you mean? What is it? My paperwork. Is there some kind of like? code going on you said messages to aliens or something I'm over just there checking my facts on the knockouts uh winter a two-time knockouts champion just that check that on my fact sheet. tara now picking up that momentum that we talked about just a few moments ago the scale is definitely tipping in her favor now if she can keep it going like she this. can put this thing away let's shake the booty the booty shake damn what's she doing she... And turns around and look at this this is getting crazy. Tara, here she goes. This is just crazy. The booty shaking moonsault and a cover. Nuh uh She spent too much time shaking and not enough time covering. And that certainly... It, it'll beat you every time. Every time. Tara, the more experienced of the two, but obviously taking her time there. And, oh, wait, goes for a monkey flip. Not so much. Winner, feet on the ropes. Hey, come on. And referee in position to stop that right away. You know, away. I'll tell you what, though. If Winter would have used the second ropes instead of trying to get all the leverage off that top rope, that might have worked. But, the, you know, the referee was in a perfect position to catch that one, and he did. Good good call by the referee. Check Got this out. By Winter. And look at this. Up this on the shoulder. Away. Strong woman. Tara is a strong woman. Tried to go for Widow's Peak there, and Winter stopped that, did her homework, and now look at this, the tarantula. Nice move. She set herself up perfectly for that move. 
Perfect execution. That was a well-played game right there. And tied her right up in the ropes, and certainly no escape from that. Referee having to break it at the five count. And Tara now looking to capitalize on this momentum. Here we it's go. Set up. This could be it, JB. Oh, but over oh. on the shoulder. Oh. Oh. Wow. There it is. The widow's peak from Tara and a cover. One, two, and that's gonna do it. Here's your winner, Tara. That was like really freaking entertaining. That's what I gotta say. I don't smell but I feel like a cigarette after that match, huh? Tara gets the win. And all kidding aside, these women are sexy. There's no doubt about it. They are fun to watch, but they are athletes. We've got a lot yet to come on this edition of Explosion. It's the All Steel Cage Match pay-per-view. It's locked down, and uh, Eric Bischoff, you really got yourself into a bit of a, a bit of a pickle, if you will, because at lockdown, if your team is not victorious, you're out of here, bud. You're done. What? You'll be gone. But if your team doesn't win at lockdown, my team. What do you mean if my team doesn't win at lockdown? We are going to win at lockdown. I'm an important part of the equation here in TNA. I mean so much around the world. There's no way in the world I'm losing, or my team is going to lose, I should say. I'm going to be here for a long, long time. I well, like it here. All right. Well, on behalf of the great fans of Explosion, in case it doesn't work out in your way, we do wish you the best of luck. No question about it.